Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prime a canvas for alcohol inks. So I've said this a while ago I was going to do this video. So basically it's not ideal to paint alcohol inks directly onto canvas because canvas is a fabric, it will absorb the inks. So we want to use a primer that will repel water. So if you attempt to paint alcohol ink on a porous surface then basically it will just soak in and you'll really miss all the nice beautiful flows that you get, like the inks flow into each other. So once we prime the canvas it means that we can get a really nice alcohol ink painting, we can get good blends, we can get good coverage. Like I've done in my other videos I've used Yuppu paper, so that is obviously a great paper to use, it repels the inks, it's completely waterproof, but canvas isn't. So I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial how to prep your canvas and also a little alcohol ink painting that I'm going to do on it today. So what you need is canvas, any size, um, if you're starting out, get little ones. If you're wanting to do a bigger piece, that's absolutely fine too. Um, you want to get a brush or a roller. Now, I use a brush most of the time because I'm not doing really large paintings, but if you're doing a large painting, it might be an idea to get a roller. That will just make it a little bit quicker. You want to use a fairly rough brush because you want to sort of get into all the little groves of the canvas. So this one I just picked up from Amazon. I'll put all the links to the products that I'm using today in my bio, so head down and check that out. The primer that I'm going to use today is called BIN, B -I -N. Interior and Spot Exterior Primer Sealer Stain Killer, and it's shellac based. Basically what it's used for is to prevent water stains, things like that, so I guess if you're decorating, but today we're going to use it to stop our alcohol ink soaking through the canvas. I've bought this in the UK. If you're from the US or outside of the UK, I've heard of a product called Kills 2 Latex, which I'll also put in the description below because I don't think you can get this one outside the UK. But yeah, um, I've heard a lot of reviews of people using Kills 2 latex and that works as well as this one. So what I'm going to do is pop the lid off and start prepping my canvas. Right, here's my canvas. So I am just going to... I've already given this a stir. Um, if it's... This is a brand new one, but if it's old, then yeah, make sure you give it a really, really good stir. What works well for me is if I do two fairly thin coats. So I'm just going to dip the brush in. And then... Just start to get that along the canvas here. So just do a back and forth motion like this. So once you've done one way, just make sure you drag the paint the other way as well so it gets in every nook and cranny of the canvas. Okay, and then you want to make sure you also hit the sides. Because I, in my paintings, I always like to let the inks sort of go down the side of the canvas. If you don't like that look, then you don't. I guess you don't have to prime the sides, but it's, it's always an idea because the inks will naturally go down. And I guess just use a, a ring light or the uh, daylight just to sort of see if there's any areas you've missed, you'll be able to see. Okay, so that's my first layer prepped and primed. I'm going to leave that, uh, well actually it says you're meant to leave it for an hour to dry. But I must admit I am a little bit naughty and I often use a hairdryer to speed the process up. <sighs> Okay, that's all dry. Just as a little side note, whilst I was waiting for this to dry, I did go and clean my paintbrush. So this kind of paint can't be washed off by water. What you need to use is methylated spirit. So what I do is I don't like to have it really in the house. So I put it in a sort of clear jar that I'm obviously not using for any food or anything like that. And I just put around maybe like that much in the bottom and then I put the paintbrush in and really swirl it around for about five minutes and it should all come off fine. And then obviously get the spirit off with 
hot soapy water after so that it's clean and ready to use again. So I always kind of do that straight away because otherwise I feel like the paint brushes get really, really hard to wash if they're all like gloopy and dried up after a few days. So I kind of tend to do it just like in between whilst I'm waiting. So my brush is clean again. This is ready to do another little layer. So I'm just gonna do my second layer now and do the exact same thing that I just did. Okay, so the canvas is nice and dry. Now it will look like it will have a slight sheen to it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Um, and that is not anything to worry about. It is completely dry. It's just how it dries. Well, this particular one, I'm not sure about other ones, but anyway, this is how it dries. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a normal alcohol ink painting. Um, I think I'm gonna use probably some oranges and pinks and white today. I'm gonna to go for that kind of vibe, and maybe a tiny bit of blue. So what I'm gonna do is put some colors into some of these cups here. Uh, I don't really, I want sort of fairly faded colors, which is why I'm diluting them a bit, just because some of these are quite strong. I'm just gonna add a bit of isoprofil. So I'm gonna put some gloves on as well. I don't want to get ink all over my hand. So I've got some isoprofil, 99%. Put a little bit in each of those. Probably shouldn't be working directly on top of the canvas, but oh well. As you can see, they're quite bright colours, so they don't really need... In fact, I'll put a bit more on this one. Got some colours there. I might also get ready some. I like patina. It's a really nice, like turquoisey colour. So I'll just dilute a little bit of that as well. And you can use them from Concentrate. Um, it's just if you want like a kind of paler look, which is what I want at the beginning. Okay, so I've got some colours there. Uh, what I'm going to do actually is just spray the canvas quickly with some isoprofil. I use a spray bottle just because it kind of distributes it quite nicely. Um, just before I work so that the canvas is like slightly wet. Okay, so that's ready to go. And then I'm just going to sort of place it on here, different sections. Don't want too much of the pink, the pink's quite strong. And then I'm just kind of gonna and let some of it like fall off the pay of the canvas. It's quite nice to have like bits going down the side. And this is just gonna be like my background. Just put a bit more orange there. Sort of mix it up a little bit. And sometimes I just use my fingers for like the bits that because it's all going to blend in eventually. So maybe a little bit of pink in this corner. First time I'm using this orange colour actually, it's quite nice. The colour is Sunset Orange. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this turquoise. I think it works really well actually with this, with the colours I'm using. Okay, so like I'm quite happy with that sort of as the background. Now I'm going to add like colours a bit more bolder in the middle. So I'm, I'm going to try a little bit of purple. I quite like this purple. And to sort of make it snazz up a bit, I'm going to add some pinata white. drop that on in the middle and then 
to make it kind of react. Got some um, isopropyl in this little bottle and it's quite handy because it's got like a little nib bit there. I'm just going to pop that on and that's sort of going to make it react and do its thing. Just let it... I think actually the white that I've got is a little bit thick so I might need to mix that I might need to shake the bowl a bit yeah it was just a little bit thick add a little bit of pink here maybe some of the orange direct on here because again I think it's a really gorgeous colour some of the white little bit of the isopropyl just to make it react. We'll do a little bit here. And as you can see I'm kind of just improvising really sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but that's the fun with alcohol inks I guess it's just a bit of trial and error pink sherbet to kind of just connect this lot up a bit I feel like this bit is a bit dark. And it's okay to like make mistakes. It's okay to think, oh, that doesn't look good. I'm gonna grab some cotton wool and just soak up some of this because I don't really like that bit it's so dark. Um, and maybe also like just some of this here. So I think that's probably it for the alcohol inks. Um, I always quite like to add another medium. So once it's dried, I quite like to add some acrylic ink or go in with a fine liner and draw, some, draw on top or just use some acrylic paint um, just because I quite like to emphasise certain bits of it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video today and getting tips. So I'm afraid I didn't quite finish filming my outro. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the subscribe button for more art tutorials and tips. Look forward to coming back with a new tutorial soon.